About six months ago, we at Fullstack took on an ambitious Kubernetes implementation project with our friends at Duman Orange. We already took some really gigantic and ambitious steps, but today we are back at the Duman Orange office to talk about what we did together and what the future holds. Human Orange is a global leader in ornamental breeding and propagation. Over 7,500 employees work at our company worldwide. Our mission is to unite the world through the language of flowers. Supported by research, our breeders improve characteristics such as color, shape and fragrance, but also traits like disease resistance, increased yield or an improved vase life. Our customers are growers, wholesalers, brokers and retailers all over the world. We have a strong focus on innovation. We constantly ask ourselves how we can improve our breeding and research processes in line with their wishes. How can we contribute to a sustainable value chain? How can we best make use of predictive breeding tools and technology for faster creation of high impact ornamental varieties with less waste? In order to make growers and consumers more aware of the impact of sustainability in ornamental crops, we have launched the Intrinsa brand. This brand encompasses all product innovations to make plants more resilient against disease or adverse conditions. In the Breeding Technology Center in Delir, also known as the home of Intrinsa, combines all required facilities and expertise under one roof. One major requirement for breeding plants uh, for resistance to diseases and adverse conditions is the collection and processing of data. With the data, we can make the right choices faster and with more efficiency. For optimal data processing, we need a technology which supports us on the best way possible. We need a flexible base to develop our future data activities. In Fullstack, we found a partner who was able to add valuable knowledge and hands-on mentality to create this future-proof, stable technology base. Also, the match on cultural level made this innovative project fast and fun to do. Not only is Doomin Orange working on highly innovative solutions in their sector, but the platform requirements are in an area where a few steps have been taken. Running containerization and Kubernetes outside of the major public clouds is a recent development, but running Kubernetes in edge locations is completely rare and therefore Doomin Orange is really ahead of their time. Doomin Orange opted for containerization because of portability and scalability, but it also allows them to process data locally in their greenhouses. The requirements of Doom and Orange calls for a Kubernetes on the edge scenario, which means running Kubernetes as close to the data source as possible. In the case of Doom and Orange, it means in their greenhouses. The solution combines several technologies with a Rancher product suit at the center. Centralized managing multiple Kubernetes endpoints and a lightweight Kubernetes engine is the heart of the Rancher product portfolio. This is a perfect fit for our use case. As we have limited access to the greenhouses, we use K3S as our Kubernetes engine. K3S is a lightweight Kubernetes distribution from which all cloud providers are removed. And we don't need those cloud providers in this setup anyway. We use our own K3S nodes to use our deep learning algorithms and to do our data processing. As soon as the data is processed, it is sent to a central Kubernetes cluster. Here, there will be many applications for breeders, laboratory technicians and researchers to have insights into their data. To manage the entire process, we centrally run Rancher to manage and monitor all K3S nodes in the greenhouses. Centrally managing multiple Kubernetes clusters, both on-premise and in the cloud, is essential for a good and solid foundation to build on in the future. To automatically deploy all applications, we use GitLab for CI-CD and are planning to add Argo CD to the tool stack. Rancher also opens the door to add and apply solutions from the public cloud, which means we have the flexibility to make an easy transition to the cloud in the future. Kubernetes has brought us a platform which helps us in the orchestration of the different processes. And that was quite welcome because the different processes are very complex and getting a good overview is really essential for us. Kubernetes was new to us, but with the right drive and enthusiasm, we managed to launch our first application onto the platform just within a few months. 
We also trained our in-house developers with help of Fullstack and we're really happy with uh, those results. Fullstack supported the knowledge, expertise and also the training of our IT team. They offered the right training to our, train our employees. After a few days we had the knowledge and to deploy applications and really understand how the platform runs. This gives us control over our own platform. Right now we have the Kubernetes platform and on that platform is our first application. And with that application our breeders can select the best plant material for the parents and uh, in order to create new crosses for the most uh, optimal plant varieties. In the future we have multiple applications running on our Kubernetes platform but with more applications we also get more complexity. With Kubernetes we have a transparent base to handle the challenge and it gives us the trust to handle the complexity. So what happens here is actually quite extraordinary. You have two different companies working in entirely different fields, but both of them at the top of their game. So bringing these two companies together breeds a synergy of enormous value and it's great to be a part of it.